Hello, welcome to video 5 of 7. This is geolocation. To me, this is probably uh, the second most important video. To me, I'll, I think traffic sources is the most important out of all these um, statistics for our responsive website. But geolocation basically means geography location. And in other words, I get to see where people are checking my site out from. It doesn't matter from what operating system or if it's a desktop or tablet or mobile, I get to see exactly where people are finding me from. And that's very important to me because let's say I live in Florida and I've got an event organization going on. If I get to see what city they're looking at me from, then I can offer coupons to that city. Uh, this is very, very valuable information. So let's go a little bit further into what geolocation is about. Well, first of all, let's understand by results. I can look at yesterday, by the week, by the month. I could target by just clicking on the calendar, pick what date you want, or if I want to click on the right-hand side of that calendar, that calendar view will pop up too. I can look at these through total by desktop, tablet, or mobile, or I can actually combine a couple of these like desktop and mobile together to see uh, the results as well. But I want to go right directly to total to look at the total results. Again, this is a new site, so I'm not going to expect too much um, when I'm looking at this site. As I go along, I will monitor a little bit more about my geolocation and all the other different types of statistics that's being offered to me. Breakdown of visits by country. Right now, we're looking at by country, and I can see here visits, visitors, page views, and average visit duration. If I go below the map, which, by the way, is interactive, as you see as I hover over it, or if I were on a touch enable device, I would tap that area. I could see the visits. So right below it, I could see by country, what country is looking at the site, how many visits, visitors, page visits, and once again, average visit duration. You also saw these here, these four, as I went up to the top here. So you get to look at them so many different ways, it's crazy. On the right hand side, as I scroll down, you'll notice that what you appears to be on the right hand side our devices so as I scroll down it does follow me so I don't have to scroll all the way back up to pick any device as I scroll down and I click on one you'll see it change which is very very important it makes everything quick for you so right now this is by country if I want to look at this by city I can do one of two things I can either click here in this area or I can click on the map so I want to click on the United States now that I've clicked on it, you'll see that all the different states do appear. Like I said, this is new, so right now I am in Tennessee. I'm the guy who's been looking at this right now. Here you see the state Tennessee, visits, visitors, page visits, average visit duration. And if I click on the state itself, I will also come over here to uh, break down a visits by city. And if I want to go by state, or if I want to go back to um, the world, I have the nice little uh, bookmark here on the left hand side so I can find it that way as well so I'm looking here I can see once again by city visits visitors page visits and average visit duration once again I could pick by device on my right hand side if I want to go to the very beginning and look at the different countries I could do so by clicking on world let's go down here to the bottom just to show you a little by clicking on country or say the United States here I can see by state. I pick the state I want. Let's say there's Florida, Mich let's say Florida, Michigan, and then us, right? Let's say this was Michigan. I would click on Michigan, and it will take me over to looking at the different cities. And that's as far as it goes. So this is just a good breakdown of your geolocation for your responsive website statistics.